ciò che desideri può essere tuo. Ricchezze, lusso. Hai sognato di nuovo lei? Non c'è niente da ridere, Lara. Sono sogni così reali. E questo finiva in un modo che non mi piaceva per niente. Niente lieto fine stavolta? Che peccato. Caddock, stai continuando a sognare una donna che non hai mai visto. Forse è il connubio di quella barista che fissi come un maniaco e un pezzo di cinghiale che ti è rimasto sullo stomaco. Il cinghiale potrebbe spiegare il tragico finale. Cerchiamo di dormire. Domattina dobbiamo raggiungere la fontana di Elisha. I tell you, Alara, there was something about that dream. It may have been some kind of omen. You're being paranoid. I'm being cautious. If something's waiting for us, it's best to be prepared. You worry too much. And you don't worry enough. Worrying gets you nothing but wrinkles, old man. Old man? <laughs> You're twice my age, elf. And half as mature. Hmm, and ten times prettier. There. The entrance to the fountain is just across that bridge. So it is. What do you say we go make a fortune, girl? The wizard who hired us said this job was a cakewalk. There. Did you see that? I saw something. Keep your bow up. I don't like this. Delara, get up here. Looks like somebody lost some arrows. Better pick them up. There. A rattling crawler. Big one. Hunger, too. You are not helping, Alara. You know how I feel about bikes. I... I hate Arachlings. They're just bugs, Kadok. And I don't like bugs. Looks like someone helped us out by knocking over this tree. Let's use it. Use your sword, Alara. You can't shoot a path through a growth. Here they come. Keep them at bay. That was a 
wasn't so bad now, was it? I'll let you know once my skin stops crawling. In the meantime, fill your flask, girl. Mm. All the mana water our client could ask for. Burning blood of the goddess. Elara, look here. I know that door. I saw it in my dream. It's an omen, Elara. We have to see what's in there. You know me. I'm always happy to open strange doors with screaming faces carved above them. It's heavy. Better give me a hand opening it. Get over here and help me, Halara, before more crawlers show up. <sighs> Halara, over here. I think we can squeeze through. Stay sharp, girl. No telling what's down here. Your dream promised riches. It also promised a demon. Don't tell me you're afraid of demons as well as bugs. I'm not afraid of bugs, just concerned by them. Hmm, a man could retire to a place like this. You can retire when you're dead. No, you can't. That strange stone. Yes, and stranger yet, it's the stone from my dream. Interesting. What is that? At last our paths have crossed, warrior. You? From my vision? <laughs> yes. My name is Seraphim. And those visions are a foretelling of the riches and power I can provide you. I told you, Alara, it was much more than just a dream. Wait, this is your dream girl? I think she looks <laughs> promising. Let us start with a favor. What do you need? Besides a little sun. There's no need for your snarky nature, Huntress, for what I require is quite simple. All I ask is for you to pick up the Death Stone before you. Pick it up? A Death Stone? The stone goes far beyond such literal nonsense. It has many powers. It allows me to channel the energy of certain crystals into its bearers. Collect these crystals and present them to me, and I can grant you powers beyond your wildest dreams. And where do we find these crystals? They lie scattered throughout the realm. Their capabilities forgotten to all but a few, so... Pick it up. But it's a death stone next to a dead body. Oh, you must trust me. Time is not eternal and I need your aid. I am bound to the death stone. An artifact that stands between the living and... Elara, no! <laughs> Listening to me. He knows. He knows you have bonded with the stone. He is coming for you. You heard her. Run! Stop! Stop! Well, perhaps you're right. I was right in the Quill Caverns, too. <laughs>
Try setting that on fire. Skeletons? Don't these poor souls know they're dead? I guess it's up to us. Sight. I think that worm food was pulling both our legs. Now, now. A death spirit wouldn't linger in this world just to lie to us. There! That 
That must be the axe. Indeed. Now, if only there were a way to reach it. Patience. What did that death okay. spirit say about lighting a flame? Start a fire there, girl. I'm sure you've been looking for an excuse. Consider it done. See? It's always a way, if you take the time to find it. That must be why I keep you around. Chops of dead wood. Skeletons. I'll cover you while you feed them your steel. I'm afraid the danger that lies ahead is graver than I had foreseen. However, I can grant you the gift of the Dragon's Breath. An energy force of tremendous power. Without the proper crystals, the power will only be temporary, I'm afraid. But it may aid you in surviving the ancient battleground that lies ahead.
More healing. Kadek, your dream girl nearly got us killed. You're jumping to conclusions, girl. Well, there must be a very simple explanation. Besides, I'd like to at least hear her out. It's not like we've any other promise of paying work at hand. Look! Oh, well done. I am impressed. You have proven yourself to be quite heroic. We're not heroes. <laughs> heroes or not, you have earned the power I promised you. Hand me the crystals. First things first, Seraphine. My partner here has a trust issue. You told us to pick up that Death Stone, and when we did, all hell broke loose. This is not about trust, warrior. It is about listening to what I say. I told you to pick up the Death Stone, not the... How should I say? Non-human one. However, the damage is done, and we will have to make the best of it. Now, please, hand me the crystals.
You must admit, that's amazing. As is the price I wager. A wager you would lose, Huntress. You see, I am the daughter of the Lord Mayor of Dyford below you. All I ask is you seek out my father and speak with him. Dyford is in need of your skills, and my father will pay you well for your efforts. That's it? Find your father and talk to him? Yes. And the one you spoke of before, the one who tried to stop our taking the stone? He has lost you for now. And should he find you again, well, with my power, you will find yourselves better suited to stand against him. All right. We'll talk to your father then. Thank you. Though when you speak to him, I ask you, do not mention our encounter or my troubles. Why not? My poor father has enough to worry about with this town crumbling around him. As you wish. We'll not mention you. Excellent. Then I will see you both below. Well then, on to Dyford. Fine, but mark my words. Your little dream girl is going to become a huge nightmare. <laughs>